Seth, what's happening today? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. Want to buy some movies? Great idea. Want to go buy it? Stories of David Byrne. <laughs> Want to go buy our depression away? No. <laughs> so you just want to stay depressed? Just look at the wall. <laughs> That's how I imagine your dead body's gonna look when they find you. <laughs> Here lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about her? Oh, she needs to grow her hair back. She needs to grow her hair back out for one. <laughs> Joey King, more like, Joey King, she, she looks like a boy. Well, just, she has to shave her head and everything. Like, wish I was here, I'd love her. She's getting typecast as a bald girl. And that fucking show on Hulu. Looks smelly. Is, ew. Disgusting. I can't see it. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I could do you one better. <laughs> this is the fucking smelliest picture ever posted. I can smell the piss through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you <can> <laughs> uh, smells like. <laughs> ew. I'm Seth, and I'm sad. <laughs> God, I hope you never get in the Criterion Closet. <laughs> uh, I'm Seth, and this is me in the Criterion Closet. Thanks, Criterion. <laughs> okay, so this first film, oh man, it's great. <laughs> Best documentary ever. Hoop Dreams. The story of two young men in the troubled urban Chicago area working to become basketball superstars. Sounds like your upbringing. Most pussy you've touched in six months. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's Thackeray Binks. Thackeray Binks. Thackeray. <laughs> oh, Thackeray. Sisters. Thackeray. <laughs> here we have a Clerks Blu ray. I got fucking water all over my face. <laughs> it's hot out here. A uh, Clerks Blu ray signed by Jason Mews. I was there when we uh, met Jason, Nick behind the camera here <laughs> went to hand him his Blu-ray and just fucking <laughs> threw it. Just, oh, not I'm only so that, nervous today. <laughs> not even that, but when I go to take a picture, oh, uh, camera's full, no space. I mean, be prepared, all right? Be prepared. <laughs> it's a uh, great, uh, I eat ass. Wow. Thanks for that, Jay. Funny guy, that Jay. He doesn't smile. I want to. Wow, what's wrong with that guy? <laughs> are we going to different barns? We are, we are. The last one we were at, they were spying on us the whole time. I thought we were trying to steal some Criterion, so. Uh, it, was, it was very uncomfortable there, though. Entire time. She was scoping us out the whole time. Well, they always think you're stealing. That's the problem. They think you're stealing, but then they make you go to the front to pay anyway. What's on your list today? What, what do you want to grab? Well, one that I've been uh, neglecting for quite a long time. Actually, a couple. Godzilla. Uh, don't think I'm going to hold out for that Godzilla set. Don't need that many Godzilla I mean, films. do you really need to watch Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla no. or that you know, bullshit? No. Uh, and my dinner with Andre. Ooh. Been a while. Masterwork. Been a while. Need to uh, check that one out again. Wow. 
What? Criteria. <sighs> Spike Lee, do the right thing. I've heard it's great, but I don't like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a joint. Man, I see what you did there. A comedian, a regular chaplain. <laughs> Copies of Tree of Life for you. You couldn't pay me enough to watch that again. Oh my god. What is this packaging? Wow. The last metrosexual. <laughs> they put a lot of effort into that one. Not my Blu ray cover. I'm sorry. You're gonna blind buy one? I am. It's really rare I've come across one that I haven't liked. I've got a couple that I'm not huge on, but they're never bad, you know? Wow. <laughs> Great artwork. Oh. It's Dan Connor from Roseanne. <laughs> it's the babe. <laughs> it's gonna be a you. Shut for Christ. Oh, here you got down by law. this crap. Got oh this right God. out of my collection. Why? That's like one of his most <laughs> grounded movies. It is. It's one Malik movie I can stomach, but I can't stand the guy, so I don't want him in my shelf. I love that set, though, man. What's the crisis here? Well, we were getting ready to head out, and the guy told us that Arrow Video is also having a 50% off sale, and I wanted this Waterworld set for a long time. But the 4K is out. I like Waterworld. I don't know if I want to pay twenty-five dollars for Waterworld. My hand is shaking. Michael J. Fox is joining Slacker Media. He's on eBay. We'll probably get it for like fifteen. How long have we been here? Too long. Make a decision, please. Shit, you can have four Ks for like twenty bucks. Do the Criterion trip. <laughs> oh, what's the frequency cap? <laughs> I'm struggling here, bud. Seth, a nice double feature for you? Spoken like a true virgin. God, what a poster and what a film. Remember the day I went to see it. Blimey, Harry. Blimey, Harry. Looks like Harry's got himself a rogue bludger. <laughs> so good. It's actually a pretty dope poster. That's actually the second one I was quoting, but still. This one's a little uh, kitty. You know, the first two are a little kitty, but they were children, so it makes sense. We were all children, we were and they grew up with us. Bloody hell. Hi. Okay. Just to give you the what the fuck. Pickups time. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Me first. Sure. Where am I standing? Right here. Awkwardly. I don't know what to do with my legs. All right, just blow through because nobody cares. We're gonna take them back after. We buy shit for the video and then we return it. We don't, but some other people do. I've seen some of you guys on eBay selling their shit. <laughs> you know who you are. Anyways, uh, Jim Jarmish. Heard of him. Yes, really kind of gotten into him within the past you know, year or so. A lot of his movies I really enjoyed. Patterson from a couple years ago was shit. Are you recording? It was shit. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean shit, it was great. So I wanted to go back and get some of the Jarmish films. Stranger Than Paradise. Ooh. This is newer release, isn't it? It is, yeah. Okay. He's got a thing for like the black and white, yeah. um, black and white Criterion covers. Yeah, yeah. So like Down by Law, you know. This is, uh, I haven't seen this, but I'm looking forward to it. What's it about? I don't know. Paradise? Things Strange. About people taking a road trip or something? Fuck if I know, but uh, we'll give it a whirl. <clears throat> Oops. Look at my Jesus shoes. <laughs> you look like Pee Wee in slippers. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> ah, the next one I got. Ooh. Nick was telling me about this just, I don't know, maybe a month or maybe a month ago. I don't know. <coughs> <laughs> so, Feel the Dreams, one of my favorite films of all time. It's got Burt Lancaster in his last film role. God, that's the film you know him from? Yes. So, Nick always told me, well, if you like Burt Lancaster, you need to check out this film. I didn't even know this was on Criterion. I saw this, I had to grab it. Uh, the Sweet smell of success. Uh, the, the sweet smell of success. Tony Curtis, Burt Lancaster. I'm going black and white on this Criterion Hall. Ooh. I don't know anything about this. I know it's one of the classic films. I uh, picked up a couple classics last time we went to Barnes. Really enjoyed them. So, kind of getting on the train and watching some of these older uh, must sees. Who knows? I feel like I can't go wrong with this though. <laughs> so, while we were sitting there debating, I think it was just you debating. What criterions do we want? <laughs> the, uh, the nice gentleman working at Barnes and Noble goes, "Hey, fellas, Arrow Video's fifty percent off too." As if we needed another reason to spend money. Right. I don't really buy. I have a couple Arrow Video releases. Um, I like a lot of those horror movies, but I can't really justify the price normally. What are you looking at? Still listening to you. <laughs> So anyways, first I picked up Waterworld, and I was thinking about it. Yeah, I like Waterworld, it's kind of a shitty movie. Then I saw this, and I decided to go with this one instead. That is Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes, and this is the nice, you know, collector's edition or whatever, it's got the booklets. Um, I've seen this kind of floating around like eBay or Amazon or whatever, but it seems to just be the standard Arrow release. So I've always kind of had my eyes on this, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> I've never seen the original uh, Hills Have Eyes, but... Oh, you but, haven't? No. I thought you liked it, and that's no, why you no, got no. it. No, no, no. I have not seen this. I've seen the remake. I'm always looking for movies like this to add to the collection, because I feel like every time, you know, the horror season wa uh, rolls around, I'll probably, you know, get some, some replay value out of this. So, I don't know. Nice set. I can't justify $40, but for 20 bucks, there you go. Rolling. Hi, I'm filming Nick. Hi, I'm, I'm not, struggling to hold up this camera. I, I smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> well, hold it with two hands. You're probably shaking. Oh. A bit. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, so I went in uh, with a list, and I got five on my list. So let's just bust through this here real quick, shall we? First one we got here, Robert Altman. Wanted to check this film out for a while. Nashville. Seems like it's got the same sort of style as like shortcuts. It's an intertwined story of a bunch of different people, but this one has music. Yeah, I always wanted to see that. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Um, sorry to tell you, it's 160 minutes. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> so I uh, can't wait to check that one out. I'm gonna say that probably seven more times throughout this. Uh, Facing the crowd, Elliot Kazan also has um, Anne Griffith in it in a role that is very Anne Griffith. Andy Griffith. Oh. Kathy Griffith. <laughs> thought that was his sister. Yes, Andy Griffith in a role that's very different from his on the show. He's kind of an asshole, but I've seen the end of this on TV, and I figured I'd finally pick it up and watch the whole thing. It was pretty good from what I saw. Facing the crowd. Ooh, suggestion from Seth himself. Wings. Oh, desire. so good. I watched this a couple weeks back. Good stuff. Yeah, Vin Vendas. <clears throat> this is one that I've... Um, had on my list for a long time, couldn't pull the trigger, but I think the suggestion of Seth kind of said, oh, you know. I think you'll enjoy it. Probably good enough to check out. Philosophical dialogue and... Bruno Ganz is in it, who uh, died not too long ago, and um, you said Peter Falk was in this yeah, too, right? Yeah, as himself. That's interesting. I wonder how they incorporate that, but yeah. Vin Vendez is not really a director I've gotten into. Um, how's that road trilogy? You enjoying it? Well, I've only seen the first movie, but it's good. Had to have that though. You'll get there eventually. Another crisis with that movie. Mm -hmm. Ooh! I hope that's the, not the disc. Loose that's disc. The booklet. <laughs> but, uh. Um, oh, this movie. I. This has been on my list for a long time for the physical pickup. I've seen it a couple times streaming, so it was one I didn't need right away, but now's the time because I'm hungry. My dinner with. <laughs> <laughs> How about dinner with Wallace Shawn and. Andre Gregory. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. That's, that has probably been sitting in that Barnes & Noble for five years. Probably. Picked up and put down and picked up. But it's it's great. I'm take it back. If you like talking and only talking, this is your film. If not, 
watch it anyway. It's you great. might like it. If you like of, good dialogue, you know. A lot of good philosophical dialogue. But it is two guys having dinner for two hours. Literally that. I can't believe how much I enjoy it for what it is, but it's super good. Last but not least, <clears throat> Bull Durham. Mm. I had the regular release, but um, I feel like if I watch it again, I'll enjoy it more. I'm, um, I really enjoy like some of the baseball movies I've watched lately. Major League is really good. And um, I know this is kind of like a real realistic look at like the minor leagues of baseball. So Part of the Kevin Costner baseball trilogy. True. It's the and second best one, but... The second best? Yeah, I haven't seen the perfect inning or... The perfect, perfect game or something like that. I don't even know. I don't need to see it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do want to check this out again soon. So... Um, Cool. Bull Durham. Sign it off, pal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Caligari is right behind you. <laughs> that is my Nintendo Switch name. I'm a virgin. <laughs> All right, everybody. Criterion sale still going on strong. For probably another week or so. <clears throat> Oh, Cloverfield. Probably for another week or so. So uh, let us know down below what you've picked up. Anything good? I pff, can't believe after all the years we've been looking for these things and buying them, I still find new ones. I swear, every time I go in, I feel like I've exhausted my uh, my ability to find more, and there's always something new. Pretty soon you're going to own the entire collection. I'm better than everybody. So, which ones have you bought that made you better out there? Let us know down below. Thank you guys, as always, for the constant support, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs>